In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, together with Mother Mary, our greatest intercessor, let us pray for the gift of wisdom so that we may be able to use our knowledge for the good of others. In this Mass, Vincent Cato prays for the soul of Josephine Tusave, Sevaramo, and Florence, that may they continue to rest in peace. He also prays for his private intentions. Let us also surrender all our other intentions for ourselves and those poor masters to pray for them especially on this day, Saturday, that the Mother may, may pray for all these intentions. But before we do this, let us remember that we are sinners. Acknowledge all our sins, so to prepare ourselves, celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice and trouble in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the interest of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, <clears throat> a reading from the book of Sirach. I will give thanks to you and praise you, and I will bless the name of the Lord. While I was still young, before I went on my travels, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. Before the temple, I asked her, and I will search for her to last. From to ripen grape, my heart delighted in her. My foot entered upon the straight path. From my youth, I followed her steps. I inclined my ear a little and received her, and I found for myself much instruction. I made progress therein. To him who gives me wisdom, I will give glory. For I resolved to live according to wisdom, and I was zealous for the good. And I shall never be put to shame. My soul grappled with wisdom, and in my contact I was strict. I spread out my hands to the heavens and lamented my ignorance of her. And I directed my soul to her, and through purification, I found her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. 
the precepts of the Lord are right in the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, it revives the soul. The degrees of the Lord, they give the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, it gives light to the eyes. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, abiding forever. The judgments of the Lord are true, they are all of them just. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. They are more to be desired than gold, than quantities of gold, and sweeter are they than honey, than honey flowing from the comb. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. Gospel acclamation. the word of Christ dwell in you richly, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus and the disciples came again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him, and they said to him, But what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you the authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I'll ask you a question. Answer me. And I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John from heaven or from men? Answer me. And they argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, why then did you not believe him? But shall we say from men? They were afraid of the people, for all heard that John was a real prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. And Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to your Lord Jesus Christ. It is a debate in most of the groups and circles whether Jesus went to school, like the way we understand a former school, maybe before a teacher, to, to study. Because the things we find him saying and doing, they are defeating those who are knowledgeable. Those who have gone into former schools and have studied, but when Jesus Christ comes, he defeats all the understanding, as we have heard from these scribes today, and the chief priests who are asking him uh, questions about his authority, but for sure they were tricking him to what they wanted, so that they, they could arrest him and charge him with some offenses. But Jesus Christ defeats all of them until they say, we don't know. And uh, for me, this is also very important to realize that when I don't know, I should say, be able to say, 
I don't know, help me. Most of the time we take it for granted that we know everything, that when a topic is brought for discussion, I must say something, you know? I don't know if it has ever happened to you that when you are in a group, you find any, for every topic, each person says something according to me, for me, for me. And yet sometimes we even don't know exactly uh, about what people are speaking about. Here we are faced with the question of knowledge and wisdom. Because Jesus was not just knowledgeable, since he comes from the Father, and he, he is there, to, he is together with the Holy Spirit, the three persons in one God, then he shares in the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Because wisdom has been personified. It has been personified, and wisdom sometimes inter, used interchangeably to mean the Holy Spirit. So he had the Holy Spirit that was directing him, giving him all that he had to say, and all that he had to do in his life. This is what the person who had in the first reading was yearning for, for wisdom all his life. When he was young, when he was a youth, he prayed that he would receive wisdom. So this wisdom would help him in his life to be a good person, to be a better person. These days we may ask ourselves, yes, there are so many schools like maybe in the olden days, you know, people go to study, they get certificates and diplomas and PhDs and whatever. You know, many people are now uh, educated in a formal school. We could say they are knowledgeable. But how come not everybody, not all of us, you know, we are good or we are better people, or we are making a better world? You see, we have known science, we know complicated things, but that does not mean that we are good people, we are better people. So this remains a question. And apart from that also, we get other knowledge from our elders around when we meet them. You know, they teach us things which we don't even learn from school. But even all this that we get, still the word, you know, still has evils and we, we still commit mistakes and all this. Let us pray that we may get this wisdom. Because knowledge itself, just to know things is not enough. To know things or even to know many things is not enough, does not necessarily make us good, but it's wisdom which helps us to apply that knowledge for our good and the good of others that will make us good people, that will make us better people.
Pray my son, brother, my sacrifice, and yours may be acceptable to the Lord Almighty, Father. Accept the sacrifice at your hand. For the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name, and count our blessings as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as a source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. To say right and just our duty and our salvation. To praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the more of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To proclaim your kindness as we echo our thanks for him of praise. For truly, even the earth ends, you have done great things and extended up your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your son Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed, O oh Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them by due for, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time of the betrayed and entered the wing into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. You come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the moral death and resurrection of you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us all to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by the blood and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church pray throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Sam Gary, our apostolic administrator, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember, brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those who death and verse are occur today, and for all those that have offered this Mass in a special way. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Daniel Combon, St. Bakita, the Uganda Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all grand honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Our trespass, forgive us who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Bless us your grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, the body who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. I'm not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of Christ keep us safe and bring us to eternal life.
Let us pray. Now, so by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve the Lord. Have a blessed weekend. Say.